Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on desktop pictures, rotating images. So today we're, we're here working on our Mac, and we're using Sierra. And um, as you can see up on our screen, we have this lovely um, photo that is one of the stock photos that comes with the system. Um, most people, a lot of people know how to use their personal photos for background photos on their, on their computer. But did you know that you can rotate through several pictures? That's great, isn't it? Yeah. How fun is that? So make your day more interesting because your background picture will change. Right. And if you're not sure how to set your desktop picture in the first place, you can check out a video um, yep. that we have creating on desktop pictures. creating a desktop picture. Yeah. So today we're going to show you how to do multiple pictures. So first of all, I'm going to start and I'm going to go down into the Photos app, which is this colorful app icon. Looks the same as on your phone. They're kind of integrating the right. two now, right? That's right. So um, the first thing you want to do is you want to get to the area where you uh, want to pick out the photos from. And that's where we are. And if I hold down the command key, I can start clicking pictures that I want. Right. So the command key lets you select pictures that are not right next to each other. Okay. Um, if, if I held down the shift key, it would do like a whole row. That's right. Right. That's right. So we got to get that one Got to get there. that cat oh, in there. Oh, cute. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. That would be kind of creepy. All right. So I've got my pictures done. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come up here and you're going to go to edit, file. You're going to go to file. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do a new album. Right. And that's going to, what, create an album and put all those pictures in it, right? Right. So I'm going to call that desktop. Picks. Good. Good name. Good name. I'll know what it is, right? Ta-da. So if we click on that album, you can see all those photos. So now we uh, went the route where we picked the photos first. Right. And then we created an album to put them into. You could create the album first and, and then add pictures, pictures to it. it. Right. Or this photo that we have now, at any time, we can put new pictures in there. Yeah, which is great. So if you, you know, take more pictures and you right. think, oh, I want to add that to my desktop picture, you just drag it into the album. Sure. So now that when you can, we, you know, we named it this, but you can name it anything you want. But this makes sense because you recognize it, right? Right. So now what I'm going to do um, to actually set it for your desktop, you need to quit out of the Photos app and go into the settings app which is a gear icon just like on your mobile device and then i'm going to go into desktop and screensaver okay and then it's going to come up under photos under folders i think it takes a little bit of time here right i think it's under photos i did that yeah and then albums Albums. Yes, yeah, it's tucked away. It is. Yeah. So that was good to see. If you have everything closed up, it's in photos and albums. Right. And then I'm going to scroll down, and there's my desktop pictures. And there they are. And they show them. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and change picture. Um, I've just for this uh, purposes of our video, I'm going to do every five seconds so we can see Perfect. them. But what are our options there? We have, um, you can even do as long as every day. So each day you Oh, have that would be new... kind of fun, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yeah. You'd come down and yeah. see a different uh, if, day. If you were doing some serious work, this might be kind of it annoying might be in the background. <laughs> and then we can also do the other things that you were, um, I think you showed in the right. other video. Yep. yep. You can change how it's, they're fitting in there. Stretch. Oh, I don't. I'm not a fan of stretching. I'm not it distorts either. I think things. fit fit to screen. Is I know, probably the but best. you could center it. You could. Yep. I like fit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. no. You know what I like? I like fill. Yeah, yeah. Because then it fills the whole screen. Yeah. It pops the picture a little bit, so it may not work for some of them. But, but if you're doing this background type yeah. of thing. Yeah. But anyways, it's, it's so fun. I just think this is a cool feature. I actually just learned about it recently, so mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. That's how you can change your desktop picture to be rotating photos. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.